I feel stronger. Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this part 10, Planescape Torment. Um, my original plan for the day was to only record two videos, but this is my third one because I'm starting to really enjoy the game. Like, now that I've kind of slightly gotten the hang of things, um, I am starting to enjoy it. Initially, it was such a bit of a learning curve, like it was a bit jarring at first, honestly, but now that we've been making progress and I'm feeling like I'm slowly getting the hang of things, um, I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more. Ooh. Okay, um... I feel like I want to go intellect again. But I also, I just feel like I shouldn't discount dexterity as well. It's such a hard one because all of the attributes will give me something. Hold your horses. Why does giving me plus one dexterity take my armor class? Oh. Oh no, we're using the Thaco system, aren't we? So a lower armor class is better. Okay. <laughs> Just all these important things to try to remember. Um, I do want to see oh. if we can... Ah, dang it. Okay, so I did just quickly check the walkthrough after I did all of this. Um, so a little bit of metagaming knowledge now, but if you, if I had have stopped and actually read the inscription on this panel, which is the stuff that's written on his back, there was a little bit extra that you would have learned, which I, I, I personally know, but obviously my character doesn't know. So I'm curious to see uh, what happens as a result of that. Right, whoops, I kind of just assumed... Look like I've been through a shredder. I kind of just assumed that we were done, everything would be fine. Done. Oh, the door's locked. What do you mean? How do I get out of here? Did I not pick up the key? Ah, uh, okay, sweet. Is everything in here trapped? <laughs> How far out? Um, I'm running out of skulls that I can drop. Let's hold on, let's take that because... That we can throw... Oh, no, that's different. Heart charm. Oh, jeez. Um, Bone Charm, what does this do for me? Oh wow, that's actually quite useful. I'm assuming I need all the keys. I know I need this. Let's drop the Battle Axe. Let's maybe get rid of those, because I don't think I'll ever actually use them. Let's be real. Then we could put, like, that up there, too. Yikes, I'm not done. <laughs> oh, far out. There's more. Okay, we'll have to leave the skull. Hopefully these skulls aren't actually needed for anything. Far out, Brussels sprouts. If I had of if I had of really thought about the fact that we were going in there by ourselves, I should have emptied the inventory into like these guys. But anyways, you live and you learn. Right. Um okay, so 
Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Yeah, okay, dang it. If I had have, so if you had have completely read the inscription on the wall, it says at the very end, don't trust the skull. And then you could sort of have a conversation with him about that whole situation. Huh. All right, well, look, you live and you learn, I guess. Moral of this story. Um. So I guess as far as I'm aware, we right. can head off. So what I might do is uh, sell stuff, rest up, or maybe sell stuff, ID stuff, or actually no, ID stuff, sell stuff, and then um, rest up maybe. Uh, so I just feel like it's going to have to be him who does the drinking because he's just got space in his inventory. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything I did. <laughs> Whatever it's worth. Um, okay, so tears of whatever that is. Who's it used by? Lawful good characters. Well, that is none of us as far as I'm aware. Okay, that can get sold. I might, uh, Mort, you can hold on to everything that will get sold, but your inventory will get full very quick. Okay, so invoke strength. Um, so the person undoing the knot charm temporarily regains a rush of strength, allowing, allowing them to do more damage with melee attacks and carry more weight. Okay, that will be helpful. So this charm gives the user an overall bonus to their armor class and additional resistance against crushing attacks. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you get nauseous, that's brilliant. Uh, so the charmed individual expels a stream of insects from their nose and mouth. Provided the charmed individual can keep their wits about them after the casting, the caster can send this cloud to attack a target. Far out, that's atrociously violent, but okay. Only usable by fighters, so I'm assuming that's not you. Uh, usable by mages, hopefully that's you. So that's one to four piercing, one to four piercing. Two to five, okay, so that one's better. We can sell those two. Um, used by fighters, fighters and thieves. Take that, um, one to eight crushing. Oh, oh. That, but, um, that's apparently my severed arm. Okay, so upon closer inspection, you know for a fact that this arm is yours. How long it has been lying around waiting for you is anyone's guess. You can't explain why, but you feel like you should take this arm to a tattoo artist and have it examined. Okay. Can I still use it as a weapon? Is that going to... Nice. I love the idea of flailing my own severed hand at someone. <laughs> Okay, not usable by mages. Um, I have one of those already. Usable by fighters. Oh, wait, I'm a thief, not a fighter. Okay, so one to six piercing. Two to four crushing. 
I guess. So we've got crushing damage, piercing, piercing, slashing. Okay. And then what's this about? So usable by magic mages. Ah, oh, magic missile! Bless! Let's throw that in there. Uh... So when used, this pipe billows forth great gouts of deadly fumes from the plains of the abyss. So, okay, I'm getting... Why can't they be stacked? They're the exact same thing. So I get that there's some kind of like AoE attack. I wonder if you can do party damage. Tears of Sorrow. Contained in this bottles are the tears of sorrow that were shed by this person's relatives. All of the rage and anguish of this person's senseless death in battle are contained in this smiling bottle. By throwing this bottle at an enemy, their wrath can be unleashed. Okay, these are all things that I'll have to remember to use at some point. So this spell summons a mystical giant battle axe. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that's all that done. Let's sell everything that I don't need. So we'll keep the bone charms. Keep all the charms. Sell all these. Oh, an enchanted hammer. I feel like let's hold on to that just in case. Oh, a enchanted battle axe. I just don't know if we'll be picking up any fighters along the way, so let's just keep the hammer. Yeah, okay. So these won't do anything for us. Sell that. Nice. I am kind of rich now, which means we can buy all the health pots. <laughs> Oh, okay, not that one. Oh, no, I did want to buy those. Nice. Let's just buy some more, just because we can. Perfect. I feel rich. I love it. Oh, nice. Okay, so heal and then also does provides resistance. Cool. All right, um, let's go sleep. How do I check my characters? Because I want to see what's happened to my poor dude. Okay, so it doesn't look like he's got, um any disadvantage to his intellect so that's cool i'll take that uh whoops i press c thinking that that's how you'd get to your character screen but um what c does is it just centers the i guess screen on your party Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the decanter Done. jar thing um, back to this face. Uh, okay, so um, that was just tell me about yourself and then what? You can read this uh, if you want. Where is this flask? Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Yes, here you go. Right, the clear water from the flask trickles across the stone lips, diluting the filthy flow that spews from the holes. 
As you watch, the ditch's water slowly dissipates entirely, the dirty taint of it replaced by clear, fresh water. Glyve groans in ecstasy. After a moment, he says, Do you wish your answer now or later? Uh, give it to me now. Seek out the woman called Namel. She resides in the cleric's ward in Upper Sigil. I know not where exactly. Best of luck in your quest, immortal. The voice seems to fade as it speaks to you. Thanks, Glyph. Farewell. Updated Looks my like journal. My skills have increased. Hey. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so what have you done? Plus one fist. Well, that's not going to help you. Saving throw. Oh, ten hit points. Mort, your bee's knees. Plus two hit points. Oh, no, plus, yeah, two hit points gained in con bonus. I can read, all right. Nice, so you have a ridiculous constitution. I love it. All right, we're just going to head back. I'm gone. Okay, have you got what Farub was wanting? Yes. Show him. How did he even know what Farod was after? Oh no wait, that's the wrong spot. Farod turns as you approach, his crutch clacking on the cobbles of the court. He licks his lips and smiles expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? The bronze sphere? Here it is. Farod's eyes gleam as you hand him the bronze sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You, he chuckles. A corpse. Such a gamble you were, and paid off handsomely you have. Farod studies his reflection in the sphere and tisks. The years have been cruel to me, I see. I did what you asked, Farod. Now I want some answers. Farod doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Yes, yes, ask your questions. Farod turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions. What do you know about me? Why was I told to seek you out? Farod studies you with a critical eye. Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse, for it could be your ears will take offence. Farod smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. You have my word that I'll stay my hand, Farod, but I need to know what you know. The truth. Farod's tone softens as if cajoling. The truth that was stretched a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke, corpse. In all terrible honesty, I know little about you. He raises a withered finger. Yet hear me out. Yes? You're a cutter who plays at being dead, as I see. Farod squints at you. Some time ago, you came to me like you are now, but not. Just strolled right into Ill Wind Court and said you wanted an audience with me. An audience with you? I, an audience. Farod chuckles like whispering sand, like I was royalty. He seems amused, but there's an edge in his voice. You knew the right things to say you did, oh yes. You spoke the chant like a governor, born and true, and I listened. What did he, I, want from you? Farod gives a mock bow, his crutch breaking as he leans against it. Oh, Farod, 
great collector king, you says. I have come before you to request a boon. A boon, I says? What could I offer a man of such obvious strength? Go on. Farod wags his crooked finger, and you asked for a strange thing. You says, Lord Farod, I ask for courtesy. Your collectors roam throughout the hive. If they should find my body, I want it kept safe. That is all I ask. Farod shrugs. A simple boon. I see, and is that all you know? All I know? Nay, but it's all I know about you, corpse. Fine, next question. What did you take off my body after I died? I? Farod licks his lips. Why, I took nothing, corpse. His face spits in a grin. Then I wasn't the one who found your body. Who did? Farod's smile widens, pulling the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. My daughter, the rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family and the sharpest wit of them all. He licks his dry lips and sighs in mock sadness. Such a cruel tongue on her. Your daughter? Who? Updated my journal. My darling girl, Anna. She found you, dead as dead as can be, in a place where most collectors wouldn't go for a mountain of coppers. Could be she plucked something off you, could be not. He leans in, shaking his head. You'll have to ask her, for it's not her da's place to say. Anna, alright, I'll ask her, where is she? Where's Anna? Farod shrugs. She's hiding in the shadows here, I expect, listening to us trade the chant. I called for her after you went below, had to ask her if you were really in the dead book when she found you or not. He chuckles dryly, then takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna, stop mithering in those shadows and come greet our guest. She's here? Oh, she has a tail. Oh, what no? You turn to see a striking redhead girl dressed in leather armor. You didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Her right arm is covered with a series of interlocking plates that look as if they were taken from the skin of some creature and a horn-shouldered piece protects her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail that is flicking back and forth as you watch. So you're the one who's going to show me where you found my body. The girl ignores you and turns to Farod. What's this about then? I'm not playing the leash pull with this scarred dog, so I'm not. Get one of your other gullies to do it. Anna, the rose of my eye, have I not taught you to respect the dead? A thin smile worms across Farod's face, and he makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Eh, what's she on about? She squints at you. He is not a deader. Ah, uh, yes, my mistake. Farod nods, then his voice drops dangerously. Yet, my darling Anna, that still makes it your mistake. For this one only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. He taps his crutch against the flagstone with a light tap. He woke up, sought me out, most embarrassing. So? Anna glances at you, then shrugs. He shouldn't be playing deader on the hive while I'm about, or he'll wake up in a Dusty's arms, he will. Enough of this. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Farod taps his crutch again for emphasis. Take him to the haunted alley. Farod studies Anna for a moment, then grins and turns to you. If you happen to lose my darling Anna on the way to the alley corpse, you come back and see Farod. I'll guide you. 
updated my journal. <laughs> Anna sneers at Farod, then throws a glance at you. Come on then, and keep your steps quick, Jig. I have little time to waste on the likes of ye. Very well, let's head there now. Anna points at the door in front of you. Through there's where we want to be. Alright, let's head on in. Where are we? Oh, okay, Smoldering Corpse Bar. Sweet! Oh, nice, Tattoo Parlor. We need to take my arm there. Maybe we could do that first. 